Welcome. Uh, so what I'd like to do is kind of talk to you in a uh, general format of how to solve linear equations. Now, when we're talking about linear equations, the main important thing is we want to look back in, you know, into the graph. And if we we're going to look into a graph, we'd say you know, it produces a line, a linear um, line. And one of the you know, two forms when we're looking into graphing is our standard form, ax plus by equals c and y equals mx plus b. But the important thing that I want you to understand when we're thinking about solving linear equations, not graphing linear equations, but when we're looking into solving, the main important thing I want you to understand is that the, the power of my exponents, as a, b, and c, and m, and b all represent real numbers, the power of my exponents is 1. And that's very important because when we look at linear equations, there was a couple that we, uh, that we talked about. We talked about one step two-step, uh, multi-step, and that is going to be on the same side, and also multi-step, where they're on the opposite side. And then we talk about proportions. So when we're looking into solving linear equations, um, a lot of times, you know, really not so much is, is our proportions, because proportions can sometimes uh, not produce a, a linear. But we get into proportions is going to help us when I'm talking about especially ra solving rational expressions. Actually, no, we're not going to talk about proportions. I'm just going to take that one out. Uh, we'll make that in a different video. So in examples of one-step equations, you know, if I had an example, it would be like 3x um, equals 6. A two-step equation could be like 5x plus 1 equals 16. Multi-step when you have, have variables on the same side could be something like 7 times x plus 2 minus 3 times x minus 1 equals 18. And then a multi-step when you have variables on opposite sides um, could you know, be as simply as something 15x minus 5 equals 3x plus, um, I don't know, 20. Uh, 17. Just making something up. Um, but a major, the, the important thing what I want you to do is look at, these are all examples of linear equations. And you can see that my variable x has a power of 1. That's what's going to make it the linear part of it. Now, when we're solving, to solve each one of these, besides the multi-step, where you have to simplify, first of all, the main important thing is, Whenever you have a multi-step equation, you want to simplify. Um, it's either combine, you know, applying the distributive property, combining like terms, and the main purpose is to get it down to a one-step and two-step equation. So when we're solving linear equations, the first thing is to simplify. Apply your order of operations and simplify and then combine like terms so you get it down to either a two-step or a one-step um, situation. So let's kind of write that down is the first. First step is to simplify. Okay? And when I mean simplify, I mean combine like terms. Apply distributive property. Uh, combine like terms again, you know, sometimes. But we want to keep on simplifying, simplifying, simplifying all the way until we can get it to a one step or two step. And then when we have it as a one step or a two step, what we need to do is we're going to use our inverse operations. And what I mean by inverse operations is you can see here in this one step equation, I have 3 times x equals 6. So the inverse operation would be the opposite operation that's going to undo the multiplying by 3, which would be dividing by 3. So we're going to apply our inverse operations as a property of equality. So it's very important when I divide 3, because I'm going to undo the multiplication, i got to use the division property of equality, saying whatever I do on one side, I have to do on the other side. So we're going to apply our inverse operations, but also make sure we are applying them equally on one side and the other. And the next most important thing is, especially for two steps, is using our reverse order of operations. So we've taken a, um, an expression. We simplified it. We got it down to his two-step. We want to use our inverse operations, but we've got to make sure we apply the reverse order of operations. If you remember the reverse order of operations, one of the common ways to remember it is PEMDAS. P-E-M-D-A-S. 
parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. However, the reverse order tells us we're going to want to use our inverse operations, the undoing part, going in the reverse order. So S A D M E P. Now, again, multiplication and division is the same thing. Addition and subtraction, same thing. It doesn't have to be one or you know, one, you don't have to undo subtraction before you have to undo addition, even though on a two-step, you shouldn't have both those operations because you could should be able to combine them. But anyways, what we want to do, so looking at a two-step, we want to undo addition and subtraction first to the variable, then we want to undo um, multiplication and division. And since these are linear, we're not going to have anything with powers that we're going to be dealing with. Um, and, but, and then we want to undo anything with parentheses and then do it all over again. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is just a basic overview of how to solve linear equations. Thanks.